In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a restore. Unfortunately, BackWPUp does not have any restore functionality at all. And so I'll give a brief overview of how it's done. Here are my backups. This one is my full backup. This one is my database only backup. If I double click it, it opens right up. If you're in Windows, you'll need a special utility to open up BZ2 files, but there are plenty of them and they're free. Now inside this folder, is my complete website. Here's a readme.txt. And it simply requests that we not touch manifest.json. Here is our database file. We'll take a look at how to import that in just a few minutes. We have a txt file here that is a list of our active plugins. And then we have here our XML file. You probably don't want to use the XML file because you have a database backup right here. All of these other files are simply your WordPress site. So you would use an FTP client to put those on your server. What's left then is to import your database. The process for this is going to be different based on your host. Most sites will offer PHP my admin in some way. And I'll show you how to use that. This is my PHP my admin install on DreamHost. You can look in the documentation on DreamHost on how to get to PHP my admin. It's quite simple. I'm going to click my database. And then there's an import tab here. I'm going to browse to my SQL file. And it's right here. And now I hit go. There. My import has been successfully finished. 130 queries executed. That sounds about right. So, assuming you uploaded your files with FTP and your SQL file with phpMyAdmin, you would be all back and working. On the whole, BackWPUp is not the most feature-complete backup plugin on the market. If you're going for full power, I would probably recommend Backup Buddy. That said, it does do an excellent job making backups, and the free version worked great for me. So if your budget is paramount, I do recommend you use BackWPUp to make backups.